Boo, it looks like you have an opportunity at hand, okay? There's some sort of opportunity that's in the midst, something that could really fulfill your life, change your life, make things better here for you, right? But Spirit is saying here that the problem is that you are blocking your own opportunities. And so you're going to start to notice where you're blocking your own opportunities from overthinking, okay? And so you're going to realize that when it's go time, instead of going, you sit back and you think and you replan and you ruminate and you worry and you stress and you get more information and you ruminate some more and you plan some more. And then you're realizing here that this is getting you nowhere, okay? It's getting you on a hamster wheel. It's getting you stuck in the same cycle, the same cycle of stagnation. And so you're going to be releasing this energy here, this heavy, heavy burden of overthinking, right? And instead getting into this energy of asking yourself, am I motivated enough to actually now take some action steps to make things happen, to say yes to the opportunities at hand, to say yes to the opportunities being presented here to you. So Spirit is saying that the only reason that you would continue to ruminate and overthink and, and not grasp the opportunity is that you're having a lack of trust, right, in the miracles that are meant to come your way. So this is your invitation to open your heart and soul to trust, right, to release the overthinking because overthinking also comes from a lack of trust. Because when we overthink, that means we need to pre-plan. We need to try to control the situation. We need to make sure we don't run into any problems problems, any blockages, any obstacles, that everything goes perfectly. And that's not life. That's not realistic, baby. Okay. Just wanting everything to be perfect all the time is not real. So therefore there's no need to overthink because if you think about it, you need to think about it straight, which is some things are going to go good. Some things are going to be bad. Yes. On this venture, there's going to be problems. Yes. With this opportunity, there's going to be stress at times. There's going to be obstacles, but it doesn't matter because what? I trust in miracles, okay? So this is your time here to grasp opportunities, step through those open doors, trust in miracles, and get out of the overthinking because the overthinking is creating blockages and nothing more, nothing that's a blessing, nothing that brings abundance. All it does is keep you in your head, ruminating, stress, over planning, double checking, triple checking, and worrying about things that you have no control over. You can't control every circumstance that comes your way. But what you can do is trust in miracles. What you can do is step into the opportunities that you have presented to you. What you can do is be motivated here on this journey to get your due because you deserve it, right? So welcome to another collective with me, Duchess. We're going to take what resonates, leave what doesn't behind for whoever the hell is for, baby, because it's not a what? Personal reading. But if you want to book a personal, you can. Link below in the comments or the description box. You can also leave a donation or shop on my website. Now, let's find out more here, Spirit. Tell us more. Tell us more. Look. See, Spirit is saying that there's this air of needing to forgive yourself, forgive the situation. There's something here about feeling like you made a mistake in the past or feeling like you don't trust your decision making skills or sometimes you don't feel your you don't trust your leadership skills or you don't trust your communication skills. There's something here where you have a lack of trust in your own skill. OK, and so besides trusting in miracles, spirit is saying you also need to forgive yourself so you can trust in yourself. Right. And be motivated to take action and not just sit and overthink because of a lack of trust in yourself, a lack of trust in the past, a lack of uh, trust in things working out. Right. So it's like. You have to forgive. That takes away the mistrust. Like, you know what? In the past, I tried something similar. It didn't work. In the past, I tried something similar. And there was this obstacle. There was this problem. But you know what? I forgive the past, right? And I live here in the now, okay? And then I focus on building a very vibrant and healthy future for myself, right? Yes. Tell us more. Tell us more here. Yes. So Spirit is saying here that as you... Allow yourself to forgive the past. This is going to be your ability now to step into new beginnings, to open yourself to the opportunities that are flowing your way, to say, you know what? I trust that this can work out for me, even if it doesn't look like I'm hearing that you can trust that a barren land can turn into a very fruit filled 
land, right? A, 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 a land full of abundance. So right now it may look like barrenness. It may look like there's not much there, but spirit is saying here that it will be something there. So you don't want to sit there and just keep thinking, well, the land is barren. Well, I don't know. Well, what can we do about the land being barren? Well, what should we do? Oh, well, next year the land's still going to be barren. Well, I don't know. It's like, no. Okay. Spirit is saying instead you should be thinking, okay, this is the next step I'm going to take here, you know, whether that be finding a new area of land, honey, whether that be tilling the land and, and making it better here, whether it be learning some new skills, getting some new tools, whatever's needed. So Spirit is saying here that as you step into these new opportunities, you are being saved, but you are also creating your own salvation here for your own future. Amen. Okay. You are creating your own salvation for your own future. This is because you are trusting and you are taking action here. When you get stuck in the overthinking, right? Instead of taking actions towards your future, what you do is you just get stuck in the past, ruminating on it, right? And then stuck in the present without any hopes or, or, or guidance or actions towards your abundant future. So there's something here where Spirit is saying that as you open yourself for these new beginnings, right, you are saving your future, but Spirit is also coming in to help save you, right, like Captain Save them. There's going to be the miraculous energy there to support you as long as you move forward. Yeah, look, great fortune, okay? Locks me here. So there's some energy of fortune that's trying to come in your way, but you have to open the doorway, okay? You have to allow this to happen. And this happens as you step into wise leadership, okay? As you step into here being the one to take the lead to make these things happen, right? By getting out of ruminating and sitting in the same cycle of thinking and thinking and rethinking and then triple thinking and then quadruple thinking for what all that does is get you to back out that's our, our our thought system here our ego creates overthinking to get us to retreat from our blessings okay it gets us to overthink to get us to hold back from things that are actually healthy and good for us right and so that's why a lot of people think i'm crazy because i'm a major risk taker i don't care i'm not scared okay and a lot of people are scared they won't take the risk they won't do something because they keep ruminating on well what if this happens and what if that happens and well what if this goes wrong well, what if that goes wrong and i remember the other day i was asking somebody because there was there's this person i know and they really wanted to be in the business they want to be an entrepreneur and i'm like well why don't you get started well what if people take my kindness for weakness you're in control, baby, okay? And you're thinking negatively. Nobody can take your kindness for weakness if you don't show them no damn kindness. You got to have boundaries in business. Just learn the game, learn the trade, right? But overthinking about what can go wrong is not going to help this situation. And, and instead, it actually blocks you from receiving your abundance. It blocks you from going through the doorways that you need to go through to receive what's yours, right? Exactly. Spirit is saying because what happens is it convince you that taking risk is not such a good idea when you overthink. It convinces you that this is not the best way to go because you've thought of every single thing that can go wrong. Every single thing that could be a problem, a blockage. So you're creating the problems and blockages from the beginning. You're blocking it off by not even taking the risk, by, by ruminating on everything that can go wrong. So it's like you create the blockage before a blockage even really gets to come up. And so this is where spirit is saying that the overthinking is going to be, it's going to be dissipated. It's going to be going away. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. So spirit is saying here that as you release that, that energy of being afraid to take risks, you release that energy of overthinking. There's going to be some sort of jackpot here. You're actually already on the pathway there. I feel like there's going to be certain things that are triggering you to get tired of being stuck and stagnant. That's going to be triggering you of being tired of overthinking. That's going to be triggering you to want to save your future and receive this fortune that you deserve, right? That's going to be triggering you to step into this leadership role here in your life, right? And so spirit is saying that this could seem a little bit shaky, quaky, crazy because it's a spontaneous shift. But these are one of those very necessary and healthy spontaneous shifts that's going to be happening here in your life because it's happening for your highest and greatest good. It's happening here for your benefit. It's happening to unlock miracles here. But again, we got lead two times. Okay. Wise leadership. You have to take the lead. You have to be the one 
to lead the way and make sure things work out here. And then again, once you take the lead, you're going towards a swift abundance. So as soon as you take the lead, stop overthinking. Start making moves, honey. I heard that Cardi B, make money moves, whatever. Start making moves. It could be towards anything here. It's with the swiftness, things are going to change and shift and work out here in your favor. You can like, share, comment, subscribe, follow all of that good stuff. If you want to leave a donation or book with me, you can do that linked below in the comments or the description box. You can also join the winner circle where there's exclusive content, free personal readings, and all types of other goodies. I'm going to be talking to you later, darling. Bye.